Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to a new video. So we just got back from an amazing experience down in Isla Morada, which is a village consisting of, I believe, six islands down in the Florida Keys. It's about halfway or uh, toward Key West and it's about 70 miles south of Miami. So we started out early in the morning to get on our way and make the most of the day. We made a quick run by Starbucks to get ourselves off and fueled for the long trip ahead. And we did stop about halfway and pick up my friend Joanna and then continue on out into the islands together. Now we stayed at the La Siesta, which has the most adorable beachfront casitas. You can rent these. They have a, a king size bed and a sofa in them. Along with, they have more traditional ocean or garden view hotel rooms, which will be a lot better for you, especially if you're looking for something with two separate beds, which our room was not ready yet. So while we waited, Joanna and Renee took advantage of the free kayaks that they had available for guests, while Kylie made me some sandy ice cream and waffles with her new beach toys. loved that this resort offered the kayaks along with um, beach bikes that you could just take out for a ride, paddle boards, and hammocks, which was just so fun and so beautiful, and just different places to sit and enjoy a view of the ocean, uh, be able to see the sunrise. Once we got settled in our room, we decided to make some plans for dinner and we went to a lovely place Joanna recommended called Lorelei's. I'm not sure how she had heard about it. I think she knew someone who had been there perhaps and recommended it. It was absolutely lovely. They do have a bar setting, but we just sat out with the tables. Renee and I were very happy to find that they served a vegan option. There was also a lot of boats there. There was like a dock and there was some shops and things like that. And after a 20 minute wait, we were seated at a table with an incredible view of the sky and also live music. It was just such a special evening. Absolutely so charming and beautiful. The bistro lights that they had and the live music just really brought together the whole atmosphere watching the sunset and it was just absolutely magnificent. We did have a long day of driving though, so we decided to tuck in early for the night. And then the next morning we made our way over to some cute local shops. Look at this huge lobster. <laughs> The Boba Manatee Cafe, I had a delicious peach tea boba and the girls were also excited to try some Thai donuts. They weren't that different in all honesty from what I would picture for some type of donut, but they were almost like these little triangular pieces. I had one, they were so tasty and delicious, very fluffy. I think the girls did really enjoy them. So that was a fun treat. There was also a large plumeria, I don't know if it's a plant or a plumeria tree, but it was more the height of a small tree, but it was growing just wild and natural there by the, near the parking lot and it was so beautiful. It was actually my first time seeing live plumeria just also growing outdoors in nature. 
Anyway, after that, we made our way over to a little place called Key Roots, which is a juice shop. They make everything fresh, and they also have an assortment of salads, wraps, smoothie bowls. So we tried the Iron Man wrap and the Tropical Vibes smoothie bowl, which were both so scrumptious. Everything on their menu really sounded just incredibly yummy and unique. After we had a quick lunch, we headed over to Theater of the Sea, which is a marine mammal park. It's not a huge place, but honestly, it's run so well. Their mission is to provide a wonderful home for their animals while sharing them with visitors in an up-close way with shows and interactions, which it was really so fascinating and educational. And I think every one of us just came away with an even greater appreciation for these animals and for our our planet. In fact, most of the animals that they had there were either rescues who would otherwise not have survived in the wild, and a handful of them were also born there at the park. We also got to meet a dolphin named Skipper who was born there, and it was the most special experience ever to just be able to bring my girls and experience a swim with the dolphin type of experience with them and have them be able to really learn about and gain a new understanding and appreciation for these beautiful creatures. I really hope that they carry this sense of wonder at God's creation with them through their lives and just have a better understanding and appreciation for the environment and the part humans can play in caring for it and for each unique species as well. ever have the opportunity to visit, I would just highly recommend it. Everyone there was so kind and knowledgeable and just really had a genuine love for the animals that was so special to see. When we left there, we stopped in Publix afterward to get something simple for dinner. However, we ended up just deciding to get a few snacks and some extra water and fruit, and then decided to do a little takeout instead. We stopped for some Mexican takeout food because we weren't sure what to do for dinner tonight, and we got some Mexican rice, a veggie burrito, which I'm splitting with Renee, and also some veggie tacos, and a few chips with guacamole. We also didn't have any plates, so thankfully I had some forks and spoons in my car, and then we just ripped this container in half and used the half as one dish and <laughs> the bottom as the other dish. After dinner, we took a walk around the resort and spent some time in the pool, which was probably the warmest pool I have ever been in. And it was amazing, especially as the sun set and the air cooled off a bit, the warm water with the beautiful view looking out at the ocean and just all of the palm trees and the lights made it just absolutely a magical type of experience. Kylie definitely kept us busy wanting to relive every moment of the day with the animals just pretending to be a dolphin, a sea lion, a stingray, and she has been sleeping with her little dolphin plushie every night since that day after meeting Skipper. It really makes my heart so happy to just see her getting so excited about the different creatures and sharing all the facts that she remembers learning about them there. It's just such a such a unique thing and it just makes me so happy to see her appreciating and excited excited about the animals this much. So we are in from the pool, we have showered, and I've got some fresh fruit for a snack tonight.
the next morning we checked out and we made our way over to the Midway Cafe which unfortunately we were really looking forward to it but they had closed early for some reason and they wouldn't be opening that day so we decided to move on to Cafe Mocha in search of an iced coffee. So Renee decided to try their iced chai which she really enjoys iced chai. I had the cold brew with oat milk which was really good and Kylie decided to try their hot chocolate and a croissant. Then we browsed an adorable boutique named Miss Monroe, presumably because it is located in Monroe County, which Monroe County encompasses the Florida Keys. It was very adorable, so many unique fun gift ideas if you're looking to pick up any sort of souvenirs or even a gift for yourself. And we then made our way a little bit west out to Ann's Beach, which it has free parking with a nice boardwalk. You can take a nice walk along the coast. There's covered picnic areas and bathroom facilities. The water's also really shallow and less rocky over here, making it the perfect place for a picnic on the beach or a swim in the warm tropical waters. It's gonna be okay, no matter come what may, I'm gonna set things straight tomorrow. I let my worries fade, let them sweep away, there'll be another day tomorrow. After that, we headed back toward the mainland, stopping at Coco Plum, a very cute, mostly vegan food truck, which had picnic tables and a gift shop and just some healthy treats and a little bakery. Renee enjoyed the falafel Sammy, which was their nickname for a sandwich, basically. And I had the Power Bowl in a wrap, which was just the perfect fuel for the drive home. It was actually so much, I had half of it and I saved the other half to eat later on in our trip. So we also brought back a couple of yummy treats for Mike to try when we got back home. And then our last stop was at Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge, where I was surprised to learn that American crocodiles are actually quite timid and shy. And despite the fact that they can grow to 15 feet long, there's no documented cases of anyone attacked by by one of them in the US. They were actually listed as an endangered species in 1975 when they estimated that there were fewer than 300 of these crocodiles remaining, but the conservation efforts that they're putting in have now helped to protect their population, and so they're doing a lot of efforts there to provide a home here for the crocodiles to be able to be unbothered because a lot of their um, moving towards extinction is because of humans hunting them and harming them. The main thing I was excited to see at the Crocodile Preserve was a butterfly garden that was supposed to have some unique and rare plants, which are host plants for some of the butterflies in the area and even some endangered butterfly species. However, as we took a quick stroll through the butterfly garden, unfortunately, the mosquitoes were swarming us so, so badly that we decided to just get back on the road sooner than later. In fact, just opening the doors to get back into the car. We brought quite a few mosquitoes in with us. But it was quite buggy there. We did happen to see a couple of butterflies, but 
All in all, we made, honestly, the very most out of our two and a half day trip. Thank you so much for being here and spending time with me today. That means so much. I would love if you would comment down below and let me know where are you hoping to go on a vacation in your future, where somewhere you'd like to see, or what is something on your bucket list. Much love to you, and I will see you soon in a new video.